Hello viewers. Recently I've had a customer bring me this here Mazda 2.3 liter inline four engine block. And as y'all can see here, these cylinders have begun developing some surface rust. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be honing these cylinders to clean up those walls as well as decking the block. But before we get to any of the machining work, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I will be manufacturing a torque plate to use while I do the honing. And a torque plate is necessary with a block like this because this block design is what they call a semi-closed deck. And that means that the deck of this block is semi-closed simply meaning that there are still these openings for what I believe is like coolant passageways and the reason why a torque plate is most necessary with a semi-closed deck or a closed deck is because when your cylinder head is installed and your and your bolts or your head studs are torqued down the forces from the torque of those bolts is translated through the material that is directly attached to the cylinders and it will cause some minor distortion. With an open deck design it is not so crucial to use a torque plate because the forces from the bolts are translated elsewhere in the block not so much into the cylinders but it's still always good practice because what the torque plate does is it simulates the block being fully put together and recreates the geometry of whatever you're going to be machining so that when the block is assembled your geometry of your cylinders will be completely true and cylindrical and round so stay tuned as I walk you guys through some of the design process of what it takes to build the torque plate or how I go about it and the machining side of things as well. So thank y'all very much for watching and make sure to hit that like button because it does the absolute most for the growth of my channel and stay tuned. Where the magic happens and since I have gone ahead inspected our block that I may be able to create this drawing here which simply documents the position of the head stud holes relative to the cylinders and of course their sizes as well that I can use this information and here in our CAM program CAM stands for computer aided manufacturing I may be able to create a rough model of what our torque plate will look like and also be able to program the tool paths which the machine will understand and be able to execute the operations which we will for it. So I'm not completely done with the programming but I have created the cylinder bolt bore holes as well as the head stud holes and the outside profile of the torque plate and for the sake of curiosity, I just want to show you guys the cool little simulation. I guess cool is a relative term in this case. But if we go here, we can see what the machine will be doing. So first, y'all can see that it is spot drilling the positions of the holes before it will drill the holes themselves. And here, y'all can see that I have drilled holes where the end mill will come in easily and rough out the cylinder pocket so the geometry of the stock is automatically or at least the program attempted to define it since I did not this is not as big as it's going to be that's really besides the point, it doesn't matter in this scenario. 
because it's a quick simple little part with only a couple of tools and you all can see what our product is beginning to look like here in the software so after I finish programming the next step is going to be setting up our machine and setting up the tools that we may be able to actually recreate this scenario in real life so stay tuned for that and thank y'all for watching now i'm just simply prepping the material by cutting the saw cut edge as y'all can see it's not flat but our base mount will make sure we're So here we have our finished product from the design to through the manufacturing process. We can now produce a performance spec honing job on our engine block. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, please. It does the most for the growth of my channel. And also, if you enjoy this type of content and are just interested in anything manufacturing, mechanical, forerunner things related, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you all very much for watching and be blessed.